Okay, everyone, I want yard sailing today. Today is Friday, November the 1st. And uh, I, one thing about living in Florida, you get yard sale all year round. So I get to find all kinds of good deals. Okay. Um, I went to an estate sale, and they had this. I have always wanted one of these. And what you do with it is you can slide sleeves on here to iron. Um, and um, like little things, you can iron with this also. And that's what it looks like. I got that for three dollars. Oh, it's called a drill, a dritz point presser and pounding block. Okay, and uh, at the this estate sale, I found this bag of um, scrap fabrics, four dollar. I found this in there, which I think is real pretty. I might put this in a frame. This is the first I've opened up this bag, but I noticed there's a lot of good fabrics in here. And I got uh, this right here. And this is doubled twice, so there's a lot on this one. And I like these little pieces to make my doll outfits with. Right now I'm making Barbie doll outfits and Ken doll outfits for um, my grandchildren. And then I got this nice piece of fabric here. It's a pretty big piece. Like that. And then I got this one. This was in it. This one isn't as big. And then I got this right here. Looks like someone already start, started to sew on this. Oh, wait a minute. These used to be pant legs. <laughs> used to be pant, uh, pants, and these are uh, cut off pant legs. Okay, and then I found this, which I'm not sure what I would do with this. Um, I'm doing a Barbie house out of an old bookshelf. I might use that for uh, maybe a countertop in the kitchen when I make the um, kitchen sink and all. Maybe. I don't know. And I found this little piece here. Oh, this is pretty. I didn't know this was in there. I got this. Isn't that pretty? And then I got another piece of that. Oh, this is pretty too. Got that. And then I got another piece of that. Alright. Then I got these um, standard point size 11 sewing machine needles. I got some tracing paper, which it all looks really good. I got that much there. What else is in here? Oh, and then I got some more. Um, everything that I'm showing you, I got at the um, um, the estate sale. I got everything for seven dollars. I got this nice book right here called Easy Sewing with Knits. I always have problems sewing with knits, so I got this, hoping it'll help me make it a little bit easier. That's one thing I don't like to sew is knits because I always have problems with it. And then I found these bobbins, and they go on my um, Sears Kenmore sewing machine. And then I found this ruler. The Sewer's T-Square, CSU Mark. Um, I don't know what company. Oh, it's from Dritz. Um, it's this one right here. Here, I'll put my hand behind it. Now you can see it. So this is going to come in real handy for me, too. Um, then I got these two razors um, for your eyebrows. And I've got a screwdriver, which I can always use a screwdriver for sewing. And, and I've got some chalk. I never had Marcus chalk before, dress, dressmaker's chalk, so this is my first time 
usually I just use regular chalk, you know, strong. School chalk. Okay, then I went to another yard sale. And I found a lot of nice things there. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for everything in here. It wasn't much. It was, oh, I remember. It was $3. That I got everything in this bag here. Man says his wife wasn't there, so he didn't know what she wanted to charge for. So he just let me have everything for three dollars. So I got some trim. I got this real pretty lace, and I got this blue lace, another blue lace. And then I got some elastic lace. Got some more elastic lace. This is pink. Then this is um, like a fuchsia color. That's elastic too. And then some more elastic. This is blue. And um, I found this real pretty. Um, Embellishment for sewing. I thought this might make a nice um, dually to go on a coffee table in the Barbie doll house. And then I got this whole humongous string of beads or pearls or whatever. They're plastic, but I got all of those. I got this crocheted um, um, dually. And I got another one of these. It needs to be ironed, but got one another one of those. Um, I got this, and I dropped it, and I broke it. And I, I was I wasn't going to get. It. I decided not to get it, but then I broke it, so I went ahead and got it. But I can fix it because it's in one piece. Somebody gave me their crackers. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I got all of this trim here. And it's um, like piping, sort of. I try not to show myself today because I look terrible. I need to... My hair is really getting out of hand. And so I made myself a beauty appointment, appointment for next Friday. I'm going to put a perm in my hair and cut my hair some. I got this real pretty ribbon here. Let me take it off. So I haven't taken it off yet. Let's see, where's the beginning of it? Okay, this is what it looks like really pretty. And I got another one of those. Got this yarn, it's cotton yarn. And I got this uh, yarn, it's the real thin yarn. You can crochet like, um, well what I usually do is like dog clothes. And then I found this. found this lace here. It's real pretty lace. So I don't know if you can see it or not. And I found these doilies. And then these. I found this. I thought this might make some nice belting or something. It's, um, looks like it's, um, well, it's kind of rubbery on the back side. So I don't know if that's adhesive on the back side or not. But I thought this might make nice belts or something. Then I got this real pretty ribbon. And, um, I got some, uh, midi braid never been opened. I got some piping. And that's the end of that yard sale. Then, went 
to another yard sale. <sighs> well, this was at the church. Um, they have a yard sale every now and then at the church. And I have a music room. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I play organ and piano. And um, I have a room just set aside specifically for my organ and my piano. And then I have a keyboard, too. Well, anyhow, I was at the uh, yard sale, the church yard sale, and they had these uh, pictures for 50 cents each. And I thought they would look nice in my music room. So that's, uh, that's an organ that's sort of like um, what I used to play on when I was a teenager. My mother still has the organ. It's called a con organ, but I think this one is called a Can't make it out. It looks like it says Wurlitzer, maybe? I don't know. It's not Wurlitzer. I don't know. I have to get my magnifying glass, but I can't see what the name of that organ is. And then I found this picture for 50 cents, and it's a picture of an organ. Now, this organ here is exactly what I played on when I was a teenager, and the one that my mother still has in the house. And my father, he had his own music store. This organ is a con organ. Anyhow, he had his own music store. So what he did was he built an extra room onto our house for the music room. And he had this big organ in there with a baby grand piano. And to this organ, he added shadow boxes in the room with all kinds of different instruments in there. So these pedals right here that you see down here, see right there? He had those hooked up to instruments, and you just push on the pedals, and the instruments played. So, and this is the same exact design that the organ um, that um, he wired up is just like. And my mother still has this organ. My father's not with us anymore, but she still has that organ. I don't know. It plays pretty good, but um, I think it needs some kind of work done to it. I'm not sure. Then I found this bag of, um, well, I'm not sure what it's called. There's a one in here with a package in it. Let me see what it's called. Um, well, they've got a tag over it. You can, Paper Capers, that's the name of it. And I use this stuff for piping. You know, if I make my own piping with uh, fabric, I just stick this inside of it and make my own piping. Um, and then I got this big um, um, skein of uh, crochet yarn. It's mesmerized cotton from Aunt Lydia's for 50 cents. They had $2 on it, but they marked it down to 50 cents. Then I got this nice tablecloth here for $2, but I'm going to use it as fabric, and I might make a pretty skirt out of it. It's a real pretty yellow. And then I went to another yard sale. I went to a lot of yard sales today, and I got found some really good deals. This right here, let me get this stuff out of the way. This right here, I am not sure what you use it for, it's um, that kind of material, like maybe you would make um, straps to go on the bottom of chairs or whatever. Anyhow, so I got that much on that. I got that much on that roll, and that's the color of it. Whoops. And I don't know where is it. Here it is. And I got this one. They cost me two dollars. And then I got all these flowers. Got all these flowers here. And more. Hold on. Got some more coming out. More of these here. And I got some leaves. Um all of those were fifty cents. She wanted a dollar. And I said, mm, no. She says, Well, what are you thinking? She says, 50 cents? I said, that's what I was thinking, 50 cents. Then I got this cute little birdhouse for 50 cents. I put them on the outside of my um, entranceway. I, um, to 
get to my front door, I have a gate that swings back and forth, and on each side I have shelves that I put uh, my little birdhouses on. And then I got this little birdhouse for 50 cents. She had a string of um, Christmas lights, and my daughter was looking for Christmas lights, and um, so she, she um, hooked them up to see if they worked, and half of them didn't work. So she said, well, you just go ahead and have them for free. And I told her they were for my daughter anyhow. So I got a string of Christmas lights that's in the back of my car for my daughter that I got free. And I figured my son-in-law, he can go through each light and see what's working and what's not. So anyhow, that is my yard sale. So I spent a total of, of um, about... $15 on everything that I got today at the yard sales. And that's a lot because I came out with six or seven big bags and then I stuck them in my um, reusable bags that I use at the grocery store. Uh, so I wouldn't have so many bags to carry in. So anyhow, that's all I got. And um, I may be going out again tomorrow because there's some yard sales I didn't hit today and then there's some that says Saturday only. So I might go hit uh, some more yard sales tomorrow. And if I do, I will be uh, broadcasting um, a, t uh, a video and let you know what I got. So anyhow, to end this video, I hope you have a good day or a good night whenever you're watching this. Um, please subscribe. Click the like button if you like my video. Um, and I like comments and questions, and I answer every single one of them. And for those of you that have left comments and questions the last couple of days, and I, I've been in Palm Beach Gardens, which is two hours away from where I live in Florida, and because my daughter needed a babysitter uh, because her husband was in Virginia, and he came in Wednesday night at midnight, and um, I said, well, there's no sense in uh, waking the girls up and loading them in the car in the middle of the night, and my oldest granddaughter six, and she has school the next day, and she has to get up at six in the morning. Because my daughter, she's been substituting this week, and so my daughter's been taking her to school. And uh, but it, but my son-in-law did it yesterday, uh, so I, my granddaughter could have a few extra minutes to uh, get woke up and get herself together. Plus, she wanted her daddy to take her anyhow. She didn't see him in like in what, five days, I think it was. So anyhow, um, so I told her, I said, you know what? While I'm here. I might as well stay an extra day and watch Emily, my other granddaughter, which is two. And instead of her having to try to get her to the day, uh, babysitter and everything, I said, I would love to, you know, watch my granddaughter. She says, okay, well, that would be a great idea. So I spent the day watching my little baby granddaughter, and we went and did some shopping yesterday. And then we went home, and we had lunch, and she took herself a little nap. And I took myself a nap while she was laying down because... I didn't know I was tired. I um, was playing on my tablet, and next thing I know, I'm asleep, and it's 3.15, and my other daughter walks in the door, and she says, Mommy? And I woke up, and so I asked her to get Emily up out of the bed, because she's been asleep two hours, and um, because my other daughter went over, because yesterday was trick-or-treat, where my oldest daughter lives that has the children. And so my youngest daughter went over there to go trick-or-treat with the children. And um, so I had a real eventful last couple of days, a whole lot of fun. And uh, then my daughter and I, we had some time alone before she went to pick her husband up Wednesday night. We talked a little bit. And, you know, we haven't done that in a long time. And I've really enjoyed myself talking to her because um, we don't get to do it very much because she's so busy with her children and everything. So it was nice. She was trying to get some trick-or-treat bags together for her classroom and um, putting candy and little uh, treats and stuff in there. And while she was doing that, we were talking and just talking about a bunch of nothing, really. And uh, I really, really enjoyed myself. We don't, like I said, we don't talk very much. And, you know, when we do, I really enjoy myself when we do talk. Um, it's wonderful. But anyhow, enough of my life. Um, I try not to talk too much about my life because I don't know if some of y'all like to hear about it or not. But every now and then I talk a little bit here and there about my life. And I am in a
Megan, uh, Barbie doll, and Ken doll clothes right now, and I am also in the process of trying to figure out how to make a Barbie doll house out of an old shelf I have. And I've already started making the furniture for it, and I've got a few ideas in my head, but I'm not really sure at this moment. And um, I'll probably start that next week because I need to go to the Dollar Tree and I need to get a uh, foam board because it's real sturdy and everything for the dividers for the rooms for each shelf. And so when I start my project, I'm going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial for this. So, um, you know, if any of you would like to do something like this, and it's really easy, just get an old bookshelf and two or three shelves on it. And um, I'm going to use scrapbook paper for wallpaper, and then I've got some paint, you know, I'm going to maybe paint the bathroom, or I'm not really sure if I'm going to paint any rooms. I might just do scrapbook paper in all the kitchen and all the other rooms, too. So I'm not really sure right now with that part. And like I said, I've got some furniture made, and I've already got a bathroom set that I bought at Marshall's, and a dining room table set that I bought at Marshall's. And then I've got some more things that I want to make. And um, so, you know, I might do, do I might do a tutorial on some of the stuff that I make too, if uh, y'all are interested in that. I don't make my stuff out of cardboard very much. Um, I like to use wood uh, because I want it to last. So the wood that I use is um, popsicle sticks and that kind of thing. And I also like to use foam board uh, to make furniture with too. Because like I said, I want it to last and with children, um, sometimes they can be pretty rough when they're playing. So anyhow, I'm going to let you go and you have a good day or good night. And I already went through, uh, you know, please subscribe and all that with you. And I will talk to you later. And um, I will start doing some tutorial videos. Not sure when I'm going to start that. Maybe within the next week um, after I get my hair done. <laughs> I'm not showing my face today because my hair looks atrocious. And I'm, I've got a uh, beauty appointment next Friday to get my hair done. And so I'm going to, I've got a picture on Facebook of what I want it to look like. And, um, um, and I'm going to get my hair cut. But I want my, I told her, I said, I want a natural looking perm. I don't want it tight and kinky and all that. I want it to look natural and flow and um, not really curly, but kind of wavy, curly. So anyhow, I'm going to uh, take my tablet and I'm going to show her the picture that I want my hair to look like. And uh, this will be my first time going to see her. I haven't seen, been, a, been to a beautician in a year or more because I try to go to some around here and we've been here like two years and I just haven't found any I really like. So I'm going to see how this one turns out. But anyhow, I'm going to let you go and I will see you later. Bye-bye. And if you have any suggestions of tutorials that you might like to see, please let me know and more likely I know how to do it. But if I don't, then I could do some research and I can learn. So. Um, I have done a couple of tutorials for um, a real good subscriber of mine. Um, she's really nice. Her name is uh, Serious But Fun. You need to go to her website, I mean not her website, but her uh, uh, YouTube channel because she does a lot of prepping and um, uh, she does um, uh, uh, previews of um, store inserts. Then she also, she also does crafting too, and um, so I go to her channel, she's got a lot of good ideas, a lot of good tips about prepping and uh, whatever else, and um, um, subscribe to her. She's, she's a really sweet, wonderful person, and um, her, her and I have become friends over YouTube, and um, she's on my Facebook too. So go to her uh, channel and check her out and subscribe to her. Okay, well I'm going to let you go for now. You have a good one. Bye-bye.